Okay, here it's uh, April 27th, um, and uh, uh, electrician friend and I just uh, finished running wire out to the garage for the uh, 220 volt for the the uh, Quincy uh, rebuilt compressor. Um, so I've, I've uh, switched out the two horsepower motor for a, uh, a three horsepower motor, which should get it up to um, anywhere from 10 to 12 CFM on this pump, which is the maximum it will go. I also ran through the calculations on the pulley and put in a pulley that would get me uh, very close to 900 RPM, which again is the maximum for this. So um, pretty much I'm trying to max out CFM on this unit. Uh, there's the uh, you know 10.3 wire we ran. Uh, eventually there's going to be a 220 volt um, outlet here in case I need to run a welder. Uh, and then it runs over into the uh, disconnect, which goes right into the pressure switch and eventually uh, ends up in the motor, of course. So anyway, good progress made today. And um, uh, I'm still waiting on a breaker from my panel, uh, which is going to probably take another week. And then that uh, Belinda is going to get me the uh, outlet for that, uh, that uh, 220 volt um, plug. And then that should wrap it up and we should be able to run this thing. Uh, I am going to spend a little bit of time this weekend uh, running black pipe. So I'm going to run probably uh, 40 feet of black pipe up the side of the garage here across the uh, joists or the, the ceiling uh, supports and then over uh, across the garage and terminate uh, on this wall, which uh, is where I'm going to have a regulator and a um, uh, air filter and eventually a dryer uh, before it uh, goes into a hose reel. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'll try and get some of that done this weekend.